Now we come to our final quick fire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you can make your way over to the performance area, please. I caught ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come in with their suggestions. Okay, here we go. The first subject tonight is unlikely things to hear at Wimbledon. New balls developing on both the Williams sisters. <laughs> Well, this crowd have really taken this young Serbian girl to their hearts. They obviously don't know her father's a war criminal. <laughs> Would the working-class family on Henman Hill kindly leave? <laughs> Putting the middle classes off their strawberries, you know who you are, you filthy mudbloods. <laughs> a dog has run onto the court, and it's beaten Tim Henman. <laughs> Now, here's a question, John. Nadal, could he turn you? Ah. <laughs> There's no strawberries left. You'll have to have chips. Ah. <laughs> well, you know, in a way, this rain could be taken as God's judgment on how shit we are at tennis. Ah. <laughs> as the Scottish man holds the Wimbledon trophy yeah. aloft... <laughs> The earth opens and swallows him whole. <laughs> Cliff Rich is there with a wonderful rendition of Dr. Dre's Bitches Ain't Shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's a double fault. One for being a woman, the other for being German. <laughs> It has just come to our attention that uh, Tim Henman's father died six Wimbledons ago and has been sitting there with the same look of disappointment <laughs> ever since. The next topic is... What a newsreader would never say. The football scores now, so you might want to look away if you're a woman or a gay. <laughs> Good evening, here is the news. I'm Moira Stewart. Why did the BBC sack me? Is it because I is black? <laughs> Just watching that press conference, I wouldn't be surprised if it was her stepfather that did it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the news at ten. I'm Fiona Bruce. Standing up or behind a desk, it's all the same to me. <laughs> Press the red button now to operate the vibrating donuts I've placed in my trousers. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You've sent in your emails and we've been reading them, and my, my, aren't you a bunch of racist bigots? <laughs> If you've taped that earthquake to enjoy later and don't want to know how many died, look away now. <laughs> Wimbledon News Now and Tim Henman, you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> News just in. I'm HIV positive. <laughs> Well, time for your own regional news now. I'm off for a dump. See you in ten. <laughs> the worst thing to hear over a tannoy system. Only you can hear me. <laughs> the train to Nottingham will arrive in five minutes, which is a pity because this is Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> Second floor. But you can't get out. <laughs> Welcome to our school sports day. Mark will probably get stuck in a sack. Ha, bloody ha. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody come to the salami slicer, please? <laughs> If anybody has found a Vix inhaler... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know there will be a bomb on the tube, but will it be today? <laughs>
The lift doors are closing, leaving you trapped in an airless, windowless coffin. <laughs> Turning downwards at a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Would the parents of the child that fell into the tiger enclosure please come to Lost Property to collect her shoes? <laughs> The plane's about to land in Glasgow. Passengers are reminded to set their watches back 25 years. <laughs> the next topic is unlikely lines from the final Harry Potter book. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Hermione, I can get rid of it. Chlamydia disappearo. <laughs> OK, Hermione, said Harry, unbuttoning his zip, I'll show you a really magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> Harry had always thought that he'd meet his death at the hands of Voldemort, so imagine his surprise when the doctors told him that he was HIV positive. <laughs> 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 no, that, no, there is no post today, said Ron. The owls are on a one-day strike over the <laughs> Midway through the orgy, Ron winked at Harry. This is better than Quidditch, his eyes seemed to say. <laughs> it was a magic mirror that showed the future, and in it, Harry seemed to be a 30-year-old actor appearing in something called The Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Get the snitch, said Harry. I'll tie him down and you can drill through his kneecaps. <laughs> As the old man stood in front of him in his robes, clutching his wand, Harry regretted transferring to Catholic school. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm having a baby, and it's yours, said Professor McGonagall. <laughs> <laughs> then Harry says something, Hermione says something, oh, who cares? I'm minted. <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in an episode of Doctor Who. Between series, I paint the TARDIS red and sell coffee. <laughs> yes, Doctor. I am your arch nemesis. You may also recognise me as Giuseppe DiMarco from EastEnders. <laughs> I have many walk-on parts in casualty as wounded man. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've materialised in the 19th century. Oh, no, it's Glasgow 2007. <laughs> This is not a waste of time. You are a Time Lord. Have you ever given money to the Labour Party? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to save the Earth, but as a doctor, I won't be working evenings or weekends. <laughs> K9, stop humping the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my Dalek poetry reading. <laughs> called daffodils! <laughs> <laughs> Exterminate daffodils! <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Bad ways for Gordon Brown to address the nation. You can take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom! <laughs> this isn't my sporing. It's Hazel Blears asking for a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> The economy is in ruins. I blame the previous Chancellor. <laughs> you thought Tony Blair was a <laughs> Watch this. People of Britain, when I address you like this, did you know sometimes I get so excited <laughs> a little bit of wee comes out? <laughs> <laughs> You might like Tony more, but you'll hate my wife less. <laughs> In these troubled times between our nations, I feel I need to reach out to President Putin and say, I have shagged your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's time you learned the truth, Earthling. <laughs> Citizens of New Atlantis, I bring greetings from our brothers, the Crab Men. <laughs> No. Don't make me do it, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm G to the B, and this is how I roll. <laughs> you got beef with me, you kiss my A double S ho. <laughs> on likely lines to hear on a science programme. After working on the equation for 30 years, Professor Stevens made an incredible discovery. His wife had left him and he'd wasted his life. <laughs> <laughs> The trade in human organs is shocking. This kidney cost me nearly a tenner. <laughs> Today, we're going to be making a bomb using japati flour and hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Which is faster, a dog or a crossbow bolt? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how God created the world in seven days. <laughs> from a petri dish! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Jade Goody. <laughs> and that is how we can prove that aluminium is gay. <laughs> uh. A cure for acute depression may be just around the corner. Oh, here it is. A train. <laughs> and as the mighty lion shakes the life out of this tiny gazelle, I feel strangely horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that test was conclusive. Cats have one life. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next time again. <laughs> Questions omitted from the British citizenship test. Can you fly a plane? <laughs> Can you land a plane? <laughs> Pat Butcher, shag or die? <laughs> Do you ever look at the ingredients on Ready Steady Cook <laughs> and think, I could make a bomb out of that? <laughs> Is there any chance you could represent us in the 2012 Olympics? <laughs> in which case, you're in. <laughs> Boris Johnson, true or false? <laughs> Do you like the music <laughs> of Shawadda Wadda? <laughs> this map of Britain, can you point to where Gloucester used to be? <laughs> Are you paying too much for your car insurance? <laughs> the worst thing to hear on holiday. Many of you in this safari will be wondering why I'm sprinkling you with a barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Butlins. <laughs> The plane has lost all power. Feel free to use your cell phone. <laughs> Let me feel your arm. Let me see your teeth. Take him. <laughs> Hello? This is your captain speaking. <laughs> We're up! <laughs> you want a double or a single room? Double? Hmm. Ramon! Build a double. <laughs> in the event of the cabin decompressing, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling and dangle in front of your blue dead faces. <laughs> <laughs> from your bedroom window, you have a lovely view of the town's ageing nuclear facility. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know you've got a restraining order out on me, but I, I don't think it applies. Abroad. <laughs> There's a bar in the swimming pool after yesterday's riot. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You must be the only person in the hotel who isn't going to the Star Trek convention. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you, welcome to Scotland. <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in a TV show. On Sean the Sheep this week, Sean has a big surprise when a nasty DEFRA man comes round with a <laughs> bolt gun. <laughs> so get dialing, because remember, those phone lines close at midnight. Yesterday. <laughs> and now the Antiques Roadshow. This programme contains scenes of tedious dullness right from the start. <laughs> And if you have an opinion on this news story, why not keep it to yourself? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mock the Week After Dark. I'm Dar O'Brien and this is my penis. <laughs> This week on Location, 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 Mohammed is looking for a pied de terre within easy reach of an international airport. <laughs> <laughs> and now over to Kate Humble, who's going to kick the face off a badger. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to India with Sanjeev Baskar and me, Jade Goody. <laughs> It's Shostakovich week on ITV1. <laughs> <laughs> on this week's Time Team, Tony Robinson goes round to Fred West's old house. <laughs> well, now over to Sean for a blind stab at the weather. <laughs> <laughs> no deal, Edmunds! You're going to give me the money or I'm going to start shooting! Weird things to see on a road sign. Fancy a shack? Park and ride, 200 yards. <laughs> Stop. Hammer tape. <laughs> <laughs> you are leaving Croydon. Well done. <laughs> Help me, I'm trapped in a sign-making factory. <laughs> When the red lights are flashing, get down with the groove. <laughs> Accident on opposite carriageway. Quick, look! <laughs> Amarillo, this way. You are now leaving trowel services. Wish you hadn't eaten that for 26 miles. <laughs> If you can read this, you've crashed into my front garden. <laughs> you are entering Scotland. No salad for 200 miles. <laughs> no left turn, no right turn, no entry, no reversing. Get out of the car and put your hands on your head. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> River ahead, which your sat-nav thinks is a road. <laughs> You're lonely, aren't you, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> Sharp left turn ahead. Careful, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Giant exclamation mark! Ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Bracknell, twinned with hell. <laughs> Warning, little chef, one mile. <laughs> Next up again, unlikely things to hear in the House of Lords. Would anyone like to swap a packet of Space Raiders for some Dairy Lee Dunkables? <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome our newest member, Lord Voldemort. <laughs> I used to be a lord, but after the operation, I'm a lady. <laughs> that, uh, gentlemen, is the motion, and now I will clear it up. Mm -hmm. 
I want to recriminalize homosexuality so that I can feel dirty when I do it. <laughs> I've changed my name to E Lordy. I want you all to call me Lordy Lordy. <laughs> I am the Lord of the Dance. <laughs> I'm Lord Ocean Finance. <laughs> As a life peer, I would like to tender my resignation. <laughs> <laughs> this is Davina. You are live in the house. <laughs> Please don't swear. <laughs> Bad things to hear on an aeroplane. In the event of the cabin decompressing, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling and untangling them will annoy you before you die. <laughs> well, uh, if you look out of the portside window in just uh, a minute or so, you'll see me. Bye. <laughs> That's the first cloud I've ever seen with a ski lift on it. The only thing less likely than surviving crashing into the sea is the Coast Guard hearing the whistles on your life jacket. <laughs> oh, hi. I've got a hobby farm. Would you like me to tell you all about it for the next nine hours? <laughs> <laughs> Louisa and her in-flight team will be looking after you today. And your hijacker's name is Ibrahim. <laughs> I've just entered us in the Red Bull Challenge! <laughs> Will the fat people please move to the back of the play? <laughs> this is a no-smoking flight, although do feel free to join me in the cockpit, but we've opened a window. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, due to unforeseen Islamic fundamentalism, this plane is being diverted to paradise. <laughs> Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> okay, the next topic is the worst person to be married to. <laughs> I love you lots. Oh, let's see what Mr. Tiddles thinks of you. What do you think? Die, bitch! <laughs> Brace yourself, Agnes. It's that time of year again. <laughs> These are my late rabbit's ashes. Say hello. <laughs> when I said I was a positive person, I meant HIV. <laughs> I brought home a video to turn us on. It's Fred Gibner's Age of Steam. <laughs> you thought I was a Thai lady. Well, you were half right. <laughs> of course we're going to go out tonight. It's Hitler's birthday. <laughs> He's my dad. We do everything together. <laughs> You want me to put my dingling into your fairy cave? Are you mad, woman? <laughs> but you can't use that toilet. That's my toilet. <laughs> he sleeps in the bed with us, OK? Don't make me choose between you and the wolf. <laughs> please, please, Pavarotti, <laughs> let me go on top. <laughs> Things an athletics commentator would never say. There's a white man in the final of the 100 metres. Good luck with that. <laughs> that man runs like a panther. And if he could learn to use just two legs, he'd be absolutely <laughs> unbeatable. <laughs> and I've got to say, it's a surprise, yes, the winner of the marathon are four blokes tied together dressed as Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a laugh. Women running. 
Lane one, the UK. Lane two, the USA. Lane three, closed for resurfacing. <laughs> Here come the walkers now, mincing their way into the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> and in this final of the women's gymnastics, I've been nailed to my chair for my own good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the bell! Can someone get the door, please? I'm commentating! <laughs> <laughs> Tragedy in the water polo, as most of the horses drown. <laughs> The urine sample appears to have melted the beaker. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> and in the end, it took a photograph to separate them. The one of him shagging a pole dancer in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> and in the slow motion replay, you can quite clearly see his cock swinging from side to side. <laughs> the next topic is. The worst thing to say when running for US president. I intend to withdraw from Iraq, invade some real pussies like Spain. <laughs> Honey, I'm like George Bush, only less intelligent. <laughs> I will never forget the terrible events of 9-12. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. A Sagittarius for president, but I have Leo rising. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I smoked marijuana, and I inhaled... just now. <laughs> there are no skeletons in my closet, <laughs> just a black latex dildo suit. <laughs> I would like you to call me <laughs> President Shawada Wada. I have a magnificent war record. It's Pipes of Peace by Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you that. Oh, I got a bad one. Okay, bad one. Uh, well, psychology. I did experiment with marijuana. I did it in snow. I did it in sleet. But I did not inhale. <laughs> Unlikely small ads. Erectile problems? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Found! DVD of Lost. <laughs> Want to earn pounds, pounds, pounds? Yes, three pounds. <laughs> Would you like no strings attached sex? Contact my whore of an ex wife. <laughs> Worried about hair loss? You bald bastard. <laughs> Dog available to good home. Free prawn crackers with every delivery. <laughs> Want to earn money at home? Become a prostitute. It's easy. <laughs> Problems with your short-term memory? Can't remember what you've just read. Problems with your short-term <laughs> memory? <laughs> Room to let? No one has died in it. No one. <laughs> Wanted, one Spice Girls ticket, and one gun. <laughs> Bored, lonely, depressed. Meet like-minded people at salsa dancing. <laughs> the next topic is... Excerpts from DVDs I wouldn't sell. My name is Hannibal Lecter. I'm a vegan. I'm afraid the only thing you're going to be fighting for some time, Bond, is HIV. <laughs> Welcome to Antiques Roadshow, too hot for TV. <laughs> From the makers of Alien vs Predator, 
Alien versus Pingu. <laughs> From the makers of snakes on a plane, mice on a tube. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid, is why I'm in a Cambodian jail. <laughs> <laughs> Three love, I'm Anne Widdicombe and this is Naked Table Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Frodo, you're hurting me. <laughs> when I said you should destroy the ring. <laughs> What a news reporter would never say. Next on News 24, I'm going to punch a zebra. <laughs> Who cares? No one's watching. <laughs> Here, children as young as eight are forced to earn their own living. More polish! More polish! I want to see my face! <laughs> Here on the streets, it seems that Breton is completely in the grip of gang culture. This is John Simpson for the ITN Massive! <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the bombs falling? No? That's because they're in Baghdad. I'm here in Peckham. <laughs> <laughs> Reports of a mystery man loitering in the area turned out to be me. News just in. Go to a break. Your wife's been hit by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just a few feet from here that the shots were fired. I know. I fired them. <laughs> well, finally, the power in Beirut seems to be back on. The radiator I'm chained to is getting quite warm. <laughs> <laughs> Even amidst the devastation of this earthquake, there are still stories of hope. I found a man's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually in my bedroom, but I'm trying to make it look like I'm in Baghdad on a satellite phone. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't help thinking that if my country was gripped by famine, I'd just move. <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is... Unlikely letters to be read out on points of view. Why, oh, why, oh, why is the structure of my chromosomes? <laughs> Dear BBC, I watched a light entertainment programme on your network the other night that wasn't hosted by Graham Norton. Is he ill? <laughs> Dear BBC, how did you manage to get those hippos to swim in a circle? <laughs> Dear BBC, I am a Nigerian general with £30 million to put in your bank account. <laughs> Last night, I turned on to your new porn channel. Sea boobies. <laughs> Dear points of view, I would like to complain about the weird voice you're reading out my letter in. <laughs> <laughs> Dear points of view, has anyone else noticed the Pat Butcher looks a lot like the honey monster from the Sugar Puff <laughs> <laughs> Dear BBC, when are you going to show Nuts on the Road? <laughs> nim, nim, nim. <laughs> Dear points of view, I watched Silent Witness with the sound off and it didn't make any sense. <laughs> Dear BBC, well, it's now 30 years down the line and I'm no closer to owning a robotic housemaid. Tomorrow's world, tomorrow's horseshit, more like. <laughs> The other night, I watched Nigella Lawson and picked up a couple of good tips on baking bread. And in the process, I just about ripped my cock off. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things for a royal correspondent to say. Isn't it wonderful to see Prince Charles being made king 
at the age of 137. <laughs> And the Queen there, majestically taking her place in the queue to withdraw her savings from Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen asked me if I was from the BBC. I said I was, and she told me to piss off. <laughs> there we see Prince Philip going over to talk to a man from China. This should be interesting. <laughs> In fact, it's the Chinese Premier, and he's just asked him for a menu. <laughs> Prince Harry hasn't been put off by the congestion charge. He says he still manages to come into Chelsea twice a day. <laughs> well, the crowd are absolutely loving this event. The night sky is dancing with light. Yes, the Queen set fire to Windsor Castle again. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see the whole family waving from the balcony through the sights of my AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> and as Prince Philip cuts the tape to open this mental institution, the doctors have got him. <laughs> the next topic is what a rugby commentator would never say. Oh, and he skipped through the defence, and that's lucky, because if these South Sea Islanders catch you, they eat you. <laughs> it's time for the scrum, where the players can have a quick kiss and exchange phone numbers. <laughs> and it's the coin toss, and Johnny Wilkinson has sprained his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a massive tackle! I wish mine was like that. <laughs> Not everyone's been able to get tickets for this World Cup final, and we know a lot of you are watching at home. So hello to you, the England team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's bad news for New Zealand. Rugby doesn't matter. <laughs> um, keep an eye on this ball as it hits the ground, because it's such an unusual shape, it could go anywhere. <laughs> Seal it back! <laughs> Kiora! Kiora! <laughs> All pretense has been abandoned as both teams take to the field naked, covered in lubricant, to the sound of pounding techno. <laughs> Thick muscular necks, broken noses, and powerful thighs. The rugby wives are minging. <laughs> This young man has a brilliant playing career ahead of him, followed by a bleak career as an after-dinner speaker before his suicide at 40. <laughs> well, he is in many ways the perfect fly half. Legs of a human, torso of a blue bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the South Africans there passing to their one black player, Johnny Token. <laughs> So, it's England versus Samoa, a team of rank amateurs <laughs> against Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen, the points go to Russell, Ben and Andy.